Hello friends and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be very interesting. Before I will start this video, I just want to ask you one question. That what is the maximum ISO have you ever used to click a Milky Way photograph? Not just Milky Way photograph, actually any photograph. What is the maximum ISO have you ever used? If you ask me, so I have used 2400 and 3200 uh, maximum ISO on my older camera because my I know that my older camera can't handle noise above 3200. So when I got a chance to try my hands on Sony A7R 3 so I decided let's click a Milky Way on 1 lakh ISO because I want to see how the Milky Way looks on 1 lakh ISO. I have never clicked any Milky Way above 10,000 ISO before that, before this uh, Spiti tour. So I just want to see that how much detail that camera can capture, how much noise it can actually absorb and because uh, I know maybe somewhere I know that uh, that photograph is not uh, maybe that photograph is not a usable on printable basis or maybe that photograph is not even good for Facebook or Instagram But I just want to see the details. I want I just want to see that how much Noise I can remove through a stacking method But I get really surprised to see the details and the noise removed after the stacking 34 f So if you want to see that video that how to how you can also remove a uh, heavy noise from your Milky Way photograph or time lapses Milky Way photograph so you can go through my uh, tutorial uh, you can find a link on somewhere in the description uh, you can go through that and you can also try to remove a uh, noise from your Milky Way heavy uh, heavy noisy Milky Way photograph so before wasting uh, more time let's go to my PC and let's see that how you can how the photograph looks on 1 lakh ISO so these are the 30 images which I have clicked on uh, 1 lakh ISO you can see all these are the raw files and uh, let me show you a uh, exif on Lightroom so 1 lakh ISO, 1 lakh 2400 ISO, 35 mm because uh, I was shooting on 16 35 and 16 mm is too wide, so I clicked all the photographs on 35 mm. F4 because I was using uh, uh, 16 35 f4 lens and 10 second shutter speed because I was shooting on 35 mm. I don't want my uh, stars get blurry, so uh, you can see that stars are very sharp, but the noise is too much. I can hardly uh, differentiate shade between the noise and the uh, stars may uh, um, these this photograph is totally unusable unprintable let's see that how much noise the sequitor app can take out uh, or move uh, let me go to the sequitor let me select the base image which will be the middle of all these 30 photographs which is a uh, 5641 and let me select all of the other images except the 5641 because that is our base image now we will give a name a uh, 1 lakh ISO Milky Way so innovative let's go to this high dynamic range on because I want H, uh, high dynamic I, I want details in the, all the you know from the foreground to the background and uh, enhance starlight on use distortion let's see telephoto complex let's do a complex and now uh, no I don't want the full thing I want to freeze a ground and now I will mask the stars because I don't want my ground my foreground get blurry you can check a full tutorial of how to use this software on my different uh, video. I have a separate video on how to remove a noise from a uh, heavy noisy photograph. So you can go through that. Now this is fine and I want to remove this. Now let me see that what are the other things is are left. Nothing is left. Now I have to just press start and I have to wait so now the process has done and let's see the tiff file where is that tiff file oh here it is so this is the photograph which comes after stacking 30 photograph uh, and it's look really nice I mean can see hardly any noise in this uh, okay I'm 
pretty impressed with it. The Jupiter looks really nice. Let's compare it with the other photograph. So this was uh, straight out of the camera. So you can see a great difference. Oh my god, this is insane. So now this is one lakh higher. So Milky Way, let's edit this because it's a TIFF file. Let's open it with a Lightroom. So right now I'm in a developer mode and you can see the ISO number has been removed and shutter speed change into 300 seconds. So that means 34 graphs into 10 seconds, which is 300 seconds. It actually show, showing the th uh, 300 seconds. So it's a stack of 10 photograph and you can see a noise is very less. There is a noise. I can see a little bit, very little bit hot pixel, but the it can it can be used you can see some galaxies colors as well and let's see the jupiter jupiter looks really nice and it's look really beautiful let's edit this so this is a milky way image after removing noise from stacking mode uh, and uh, you can see the both photographs straight out of the camera and uh, uh, after removing the noise side by side uh, let me show you some of the crop so that you can see the noise remove you can see uh, it's jupiter and uh, the noise on the, the the left photograph is a uh, straight out of the camera and the right is after removing noise from stacking 30 photograph another photograph this is sagittarius constellation and you can see a huge difference in noise and you can see a uh, details on in the stars on the right side as well and let me show you the last photograph and this is the last photograph and you can see a huge difference in both the photograph again so uh Sequator did a really great job and i can say that now i can click a milky way on one lakh iso as well and i can print them i'm sure this photograph i can print and this photograph will come really good there is a, a little bit of a light bending uh, effect you can see a little a little pinkish and the greenish uh, tone effect but uh, I'm sure that if I spend more time in Photoshop and in Lightroom HCL mode so I can remove it as too I can remove it uh, very easily so uh, overall this is a final image of 1 lakh ISO Milky Way thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like this video so please give a thumbs up you can comment as well if you haven't subscribed yet you can subscribe my channel because some more amazing tutorials regarding astro and travel is coming soon and uh, if you want so you can share this video with your friends on instagram you can tag me on instagram stories at nimit nigam and i will share your stories on my stories to give you a more reach thank you so much guys and have a nice day